Hello guys, welcome back again to another episode of the Babylonian's Crypto Channel. So today I want to do a very quick fundamental analysis on the spell token. Uh, this is Abra Kadabra money, and I thought it would be quite interesting to run some uh, experiments and uh, numbers that I have put to see whether uh, the current valuations are justified and also what are the potential upside for spell. So if you are interested, uh, do continue watching this video. So to start off, I think we have to compare Abra Kadabra to MakerDAO. So because uh, both of them are quite similar protocols, they allow users to deposit crypto as collateral and then allow people to borrow and uh, take leverage on it. And this, uh, this sort of uh, lending borrowing protocols, they earn money through the fees, the borrowing fees, uh, liquidation fees and as such. So this is MakerDAO and this is their revenue for the past 30 days. So you can see their total revenue, if we take an average, is about 140-150k daily. This is uh, their, their daily revenue. And if we take the last 12 months, it's about 69 million. And if we go to uh, crypto fees, uh, dot info you can see also maker down they are doing a daily revenue of about 175,000 so the range is about 150 to 270,000 that is uh, their, their daily revenue and they are doing about uh, 70 million annualized so let's take a look at how Abra Kadabra money compares to maker down so Abra Kadabra they also uh, follow quite a similar model so again they earn from interest fees the borrow fees and 10% of the liquidation fees so all these fees collected are deposited in the uh, spell f spell fee pool in the form of spell tokens and these spell tokens will eventually be distributed back to those who stake spell so in a way you can look at this spell fee pool as the total amount of fees the total amount of revenue that uh, abra Kadabra has collected and if you take at the wallet of uh, this uh, spell fee they have do about a buyback so you can see that these uh, yellow dots here these are all the buybacks so they will collect all the fees uh, from the users and then at uh, around two three or four days at random intervals they will go to the market and market buy all the spell tokens and they will, they will then distribute all these uh, spell tokens back to the stickers so all these yellow dots are all the market buys all the merlin candles and if you look at september to october alone the past uh, one month they have collected a total of about $4.2 million. And if we are to analyze it uh, to the yearly uh, revenue, it's about $50.4 million. And their daily revenue, if you uh, average it out 365 days, is about $140,000. So actually, Abra Kadabra uh, revenue is very, very close to what MakerDAO is making right now already. And Abra Kadabra is only here for a couple of months and MakerDAO is already like 2-3 years in existence. But yet what they are earning is already comparatively the same. And also not to mention that this wallet that uh, goes to the market and buy up all these spell tokens, it is actually only on Ethereum and Arbitrum network. It is not on uh, Phantom and Avalanche and BSC. So these fees that are earned are collected is only applicable on the Ethereum and uh, Arbitrum. So actually what they are earning is much more than... Uh, 4.2 million over here so if you look at the total tvl is uh, right now it's about 2.63 billion and ethereum takes out about 2.11 billion so if you uh, prorate it ethereum is about 80 percent so if you take uh, prorate this uh, 80 percent uh, of uh, 4.2 million to 20 percent which is the other alternative chains it will be roughly about 1.05 million and if you add that uh, analyze that is an additional 12 million to what they are uh, earning over here 50.4 million so it's about 60 million but let's be a bit more conservative it would be about 55 to 60 million if we include the fees that are earned from uh, other chains Okay, so if you just take the figures calculated previously and put it together in a, in a table chart, uh, you can see that this is their uh, comparison side by side, maker down and uh, spell. Their price to sales ratio, which is the market cap divided by annualized revenue. For maker down is about 37.4 and spell is about 22.2. So spell is definitely uh, much more undervalued. So if we were to follow maker down's market cap uh, at price to sales of about 37 which is uh, 35 
uh, spell should be worth about 2.7 cents right now and here are the all the different uh, valuation metrics so if it's at 20 it'll be worth 1.5 cents 25 1.9 cents 40 3.1 cents and so on other interesting metrics that you can look at is the TVL. So MakerDAO uh, TVL has 15.3 billion and Abracadabra has about 2.63 billion. And since they are a lending borrowing uh, leverage platform, we can also compare uh, their, their stable coins. So MakerDAO uses DAI and uh, Spell uses uh, MIM. So right now there are about 7 billion worth of DAI circulating out there. This means that people have borrowed 7 billion out of the crypto collaterals that is worth 15.3 billion and the same is for abracadabra so their meme is about 1.69 billion out of uh, 2.63 billion so if you compare the debt to uh, collateral debt positions for MakerDAO is about 45 percent and abracadabra is about 65 percent so you can take it as MakerDAO has a safer buffer because uh, only 45 percent out of their collaterals has been lent out but abracadabra has about 65 percent and definitely also because they lend out 20% more, uh, naturally their revenue would be higher than uh, MakerDAO if you compare it uh, side by side. And the last line here, revenue over TVL. So this is uh, quite interesting because this measures how much revenue are you making for every uh, dollar, for every billion uh, dollar worth of crypto collaterals that people deposit inside. So for MakerDAO, if you take 69 million divided by 15.3, uh, it's about 4.5. So this means that for every billion dollars worth of crypto deposit into MakerDAO, the protocol is making 4.5 million. But Abracadabra is making 22.6 million. So 50.4 divided by 2.23 is uh, 22.6. Now the reason why I took 2.23 is because they are uh, out of this uh, TVL, there's a portion of it comes from the farm. So these are the deposit farms. These farms are actually not generating any revenue for Abracadabra. It's just people uh, deposit and farming the spell incentives. So if you take 2.63 billion minus uh, all the farms is about 2.23 billion. So definitely Abracadabra is uh, making much more money here. And again, this is just uh, some random uh, ballpark figure. Some uh, uh, There's a lot of uh, assumptions involved and I'm sure I, I'm missing out some loopholes here and there, but I just want to uh, give a very general gauge and idea of uh, the, the, the revenue that these guys are making right now. And if you look at the longer term, let's say uh, over the next uh, one or two years when all the spell tokens have already been uh, distributed, so we will be comparing the fully di diluted market cap. So let's say that during the next one or two years, all the spell incentives have been uh, given out and they have attracted the same TVL as MakerDAO. So they have an increase of say 13 billion. And if we take the revenue over TVL uh, 22.6 times uh, 13, this would generate an additional of 294 million for Abracadabra. And if you take the same uh, price to sales ratio for based on the fully diluted valuation, so at about 30, Abracadabra should be worth about 5 cents. 35 should be worth about 5.7 cents and so on. So I think this chart gives a rough and general idea of uh, how much money Abracadabra is making right now and also the potential uh, that they can make in the next one year and again I'm being very very conservative uh, over here just to be safe but I think they can definitely do much more than uh, than uh, 294 million if they attract more than uh, 13 billion and not to mention that they are going to burn the additional spell tokens because uh, this is same as uh, Popsicle Eyes. They think that uh, they have already uh, captured a product market fit. They have already incentivized users and uh, capital already and they don't have to give out so much uh, tokens to dilute the existing holders. So you can see here we believe there is no need for such high emission schedule and we propose to burn 8.7 billion spell on the 1st of November. So from the 1st of November, the emission target will be moved to 1.16 billion per week. So 8.7 billion, if you compare it to the max supply, is uh, worth about 4% uh, 4, 4 of the total supply. And they are going to reduce uh, some spell incentives. So here are some numbers here. Max supply is 210 billion. And uh, total supply right now is about 103 billion already. So I would think there's about 100 uh, more billion of spell tokens uh, going to be uh, incentivized, going to be emitted over the next few months, next few years. And from 1st November onwards, 
their monthly emission would be about 5 billion of uh, spell tokens that is going to be uh, that is going to be pumped into the uh, ecosystem into the circulating supply and based on uh, set to October during that period the spell buybacks is only worth about 1 billion so we are still not yet deflationary to say because additional 4 billion worth of uh, spell tokens uh, would continue to dilute the uh, current spell holders but this is based on TVL at 2.6 billion and again in theory these spell incentives should attract higher uh, TVL and when there's higher TVL there will be a uh, higher tr interest higher fees uh, and also higher revenue for spell protocol and they will do a uh, market buyback so it's a competition between how much spell tokens are emitted and also how much uh, buybacks is the spell fee pool doing but I think Danny in the future he said that uh, he hopes to be a uh, net positive uh, deflationary so it, it will come a point where the spell buybacks would be higher than what is emitted so when that uh, happens it will be truly uh, deflationary already and abracadabra v2 is coming out there's a lot a lot of uh, partnerships integrations and things that are happening uh, behind the scenes uh, not just within abracadabra alone but also the synergy uh, between external protocols and also uh, the internal protocols that he himself built like popsicle finance ice and also uh, wonderland time and they are also going to work together with uh, terra ust and avalanche and there will be more cross-chain assets and also like uh, Alchemix uh, self-repaying loans or Badger DAO Bitcoin use or even using like uh, meme tokens like Shiba or Dodge as a uh, collateral uh, to, to be used as in the Abracadabra platform. Uh, yeah, so I hope this gives a good idea of some fundamental valuations and also the quantitative analysis of the spell tokenomics. Thank you once again for staying through till the end of the video. And if you like this video, I hope you can uh, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button, and I'll see you in the next video.